Matthew chapter 4, verse 17. From that time, Jesus began to preach and to say, Repent, for the kingdom of heaven is at hand. And Jesus, walking by the sea of Galilee, saw two brethren, Simon, called Peter, and Andrew, his brother, casting a net into the sea. For they were fishers, and he says unto them, Follow me. Underline those words, Follow me, and I will make you fishers of men. And they straightway led their nets and followed him, and followed him. That's the word that still comes to everyone today. Follow me. He's saying to the sinner, Get up, rise up, follow me. He's saying to the believer, Come closer, come closer, follow me. He's saying to every member of his church, Get up again, follow me. You have to listen to that message again from Christ. And you need to hear from Christ again as he says, Examine your steps, examine your life. Examine your disposition. Examine the original decision you took. Examine your dedication today. Follow me. There are things you cannot take along as you get up and you follow Christ. You will not take the mindset of the publican with you. You will not take the mindset of a fraudulent um, commercial person with you. You will not take the mindset of a sinner, of the old creature. There are things you have to leave behind. You cannot take the yoke with the world along with you. Matthew chapter 7, we're looking at verse 13. Enter ye in at the straight gate. For wide is the gate, and broad is the way that leadeth to destruction. And many there be which go in thereat, because straight is the gate, and narrow is the way which leadeth unto life, and few there be that find it. He hath said, the wide gate leads to destruction. The broad way leads to destruction. And if he called anyone, he's calling that person to come through the straight gate that will not take you and your sin, that will not take you and the world, that will not take you and any evil, that will not take you and any appearance of evil. And so when he says, follow me, it's of the understanding. You're coming out of the broad way. And you're coming into the straight gate, into the narrow way that leads to life eternal. Everyone he called. He called them with that understanding. They were leaving darkness behind. They were following him as the light of the world. They were leaving Satan behind and they were following him wholeheartedly as the Savior. They were leaving every sin that will not help them, profit them in walking in the narrow way to get to heaven. And they were leaving all those things so that honestly, wholeheartedly, sincerely, and with faith, you'll follow the Lord in the narrow path that leads to heaven. We will follow the Lord acceptably. I will follow the Lord acceptably. Let's rise up now and talk to the Lord in prayer. The Lord has spoken to us today and he wants you to understand that you must follow the Lord, follow the Lord, follow the Lord faithfully, faithfully in your character, faithfully in your conduct, faithfully in your lifestyle, faithfully in everything you do. Don't look at persecutors. Don't look at 
detractors. Don't look at the conditions around you. Follow the Lord. Follow the Lord and make up your mind. You'll be a new creature in Christ. A new creature in Christ. All things have passed away. All things have become new. And the Lord will give you the grace to keep on doing what is right every moment without ever backsliding in Jesus' name. Open your mouth and talk to the Lord in prayer.